Greeting. In this lesson, we want to talk about how you can assign the bulk activity to the WBS in Primavera P6. As you see, I have a bulk activity over here, and this is my WBS in the project. So I'm going to talking about how you can assign these activities to the WBS based on this WBS. First, you need to create the WBS. You can create your WBS by your own, by uh, any other tools, but I prefer to create it over P6 because it's not too much information. I do the copy and paste for each phase, then I create the engineering categories, data sheet. Drawing, MTOs, and material acquisition, procurement, QAC, okay, that's it, I create my WBS. So I should come back to the activity session and create an export from my project. So I go to the file export by a spreadsheet for activities only to go on export and for activity import, I only select WBS name, activity name, WBS code, activity status and WBS, and activity ID. Do not export more information than this because it's the database and may, maybe you face it with problem. Okay, that's great. Our file exported and I need to open the file. And split the screen. Okay. This is my exported file, and this is my project WBS file. So I'm going to change this WBS code like this one. But first, I need to go to WBS section and do the copy and paste all the value from Primavera P6 over here. I need to replace the WS code for this activity. So it should be pure BWS code. As you see, some space are available over here. I am going to replace all space. Do the Control F, add a space, and replace it with nothing. Okay, that's great. My space replaced. So right now, I need to assign new WBS code with this project. If you are Primavera P6 user, you know that WBS ID one. It means my project ID is one. 
I cannot assign the one to all of my project ID because it should be unique. So I'm going to replace this name instead of all of one in this WS ID. So I need to replace one dot to PRJ dash. 01.1. I'm going to replace it. First, select the items, do the control F, go to the replace. I want to replace one dot by this plus dot. Then I do the replace all, all the information replaced. So Right now, I want to do the VLOOKUP, so I need to change this sort and equal to VLOOKUP by activity ID because the activity ID is unique. From column 1 to 2 and Okay, all of my WBS ID replaced. And right now, I need to do the copy and paste as a value. Then, remove the extra information. And save items. You can update the WBS name or you can delete it. It's not necessary. And save it. Come back to the P6. Go to the file, import by a spreadsheet. Find the files. This is the file and activities. Then as you see, instantly all of my activities assign to the proper WBS. This is good solution when you want to assign the bulk of activity to the WBS. I hope this lesson is useful for you. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.